Okay, guys. I'm just uh, I'm just on the way to try and get some permission for a new farm, and I've just come across this Jaguar XK Jaguar XK120 from 1950, and as you can see, it's a surface find. <laughs> I just come across it. It's absolutely lovely. It's just come back from Ireland where it's had a full restoration and uh, its owner Charlie he's just had a little slight issue with the brakes but the AA or the RAC will be out any minute for him. Luckily enough for me we get a great view of it. Look at that lovely steering wheel. Look at that leather interior. It's amazing. Look at the lines on it. I nearly went in the ditch then. Look at that amazing car. It's lovely. That's amazing. Thanks for letting us show the view as your car, Charlie. <laughs>
Okay guys, this is obviously not trash. And it's obviously broke. It's got an old pattern possibly. Best case scenario, it could be some sort of Roman utensil or tool. Least best it could be, I don't know, some Georgian latch or something. Maybe one of the uh, experts out there can tell me. Thanks guys. I don't care me whether the ground's flat or steep. I swing through all of it and I've just dug a hole in the edge there and I've got a plate. It's only thin but it says Richard Johnson and Nephew Limited, Manchester. It says cadmium and then it says coil number something and it says pounds per mile 40 so I'm reckoning uh, could be off of steam tractor engine type of thing or some sort of boiler but I really really love pieces like this I really do I'm just made up with it and over here are some flowers oh sorry that I don't think I've come across out in the field before they're like a little bit like snowdrops and bluebells. Any ideas, guys? Love them. Well, I wish I'd have known that these fields had had a going over. I've just texted the farmer, and, and unless he get, tells me to get off them, I'm just going to stay on that bit that's still a bit rougher. That one's all rolled. Far side of that one's rolled. So we've got this here that's very, very flat, but it hasn't been rolled. I'm going to go on that unless the farmer tells me not to. I've sent him a text. I wish I'd have seen this this morning because I think that gold Roman was a fairy tale. It's absolutely full of trash, them fields and green waste. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've got good news and we've actually got a bit of bad news. Steve, the silver sheriff, has just popped this lovely short cross, hammered. There he is there, the king. You can see him looking straight at you. And I text the farmer to say, can we go on these fields? And just while I was hanging about by the car, Steve had literally had two minutes and he got this. And I've got the text back that we can't actually go on them. Such is life. Um, I think Steve's got something to say. Get your cake on. Give us a hand drive, Elvis. Go ahead, lad. Go ahead. He's on the hammies. Get your cake on. But we've got to, we've got to get off the field. And get subscribed to Anglo Celtic. Because he's a puff. You know, it's the right thing to do. Go <laughs> <Red> lad. <laughs> Got one inquisitive cow. And I'm about 10 feet away from the fence. Because that little cow's got horns. And even though it's brown and it's cute and cuddly, cows can kill you. <laughs> can you see that figure sitting down? That's it. Uh, Uncle Albert, the uh, Silver Sheriff, the Hammy Stealer, Steve Niche. There you go, look at him. He's chilling now. He won't do sod all for the rest of the day now because he's got a, an amazing short cross. And uh, the cow looks like it's getting bored now, which is good. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I've had a closer look at uh, the Silver Sheriff's hammered coin. And I, I pronounce that this is... Uh, it's King John. King John it is, and it's uh, Exeter Mint, class 5 2B, and it's, um, the money at is Guildbird. That's what, I, I know that now for a fact, not because I'm clever, but because we've got the Coin Experts expert on my Facebook group. Take a bow, Mr. Alistair McKay, we'd be lost without you, sir. They'd all just be hammies, wouldn't they, Steve? Certainly would. King John there. King John. Baldy King John. I didn't know King John was bald and wore glasses like. Oh, well, you learn something every day. You do, mate. I've got a brother, John, as well. Thumbs up for King John. King John. Catch you later, get kids. Get your cake on, John. Yeah, get your King John cake on. I hope this is a May tree, Mr. Desmond, because I have one of these. And I'm going to go and plant it because you told me to plant a horseshoe and a may tree. Okay. Let's 
see him beeping on that one little strip. Beep, beep, Silver Ninja, you've got your hammy. There you go, Mr. Daz. One horseshoe, the right way up. And I'm hoping this is a May tree, but I ain't got a jar of glue. You have. You tell me. I'll turn the uh, brightness up if I can. See them leaves? There's the flowers look. I'll give you another shot from the distance. Mr Desmond? Is this a blooming may tree or what? What is it? Am I on the blooming may trees? I hope so. And no, I haven't brought my metal detector in here. I wouldn't dare. It's the privilege to be out here and you don't take the mic off. There's a plane trailing a banner after the races, party, cruise, night time. Okay guys, I've come over onto what we know as the green waste field. There's never been anything off here. I dug two pieces of coke just to check. I haven't been digging any of the green waste but I did manage to get this small piece of a hammy. That's the king I would say looking at us. When you turn it over there's possibly a suggestion of stars on the outer border. And if that is a star up the top there it'll probably be Scottish. I'll give you an update and an ID. Pop this tiny little button. It's all right. Very small. I'll take that. That's two gold false alarms. The last two times out. This is an Irish um, ten euro cent. Okay. Just goes to show when you're struggling because I can't go on that or the other one. Right by the style here. Big banging signal. It's on disturbed ground as well so could only be near the top of them stones. Nice piece of silver. I'll take that. Go ahead. Stevie on his yellow gigs of destiny is on the hammies. All right you puffs. Macro Racer 2 gets a battered hammy and I think it's Scottish. Go ahead, it's better than nothing. We can't all have the stuffy little short cross, King John. <laughs> you got to bear in mind what I said, kids. Um, don't do this at all. Yeah, don't bother doing it at home, you won't find nothing. I've had to go at this all day. And I found nothing all day apart from that nice steam engine plate thing. No coins, one old half pin sat here. All day in the heat. Last half hour, a battered hammy. Oh, and that piece of silver that I showed you. That's all day. All oh, the vicar's uh, looking at me a bit funny there. Sorry, vicar, I won't be a minute. Right, have you had a good day, Steve? Eh, it hasn't been free bad, a little bit on the warm side like, but... A little bit of a short cross day for you. Yeah, very short cross. Where have you left your glasses, mate? Eh, sure. do you know what? I don't know, I've been looking all over the place for them, I can't find them anyway. Well, we best sign off, haven't we? Okay then. Get, get your cake on. Get your cake on and get subscribed to Anglo Celtic. Or go to Spec Savers. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rolling. Later! Action! Bye kids! Two smoking barrels for two funky pairs of gigs. Give me some cake, give me some silver, and I want some gold. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead! I blew your glasses off. Yeah, massive gigs of destiny. Baldy here brought them. This is the Scouser's gun. I'm going to wipe my dabs off it, wipe it down with petrol. I know the score. <laughs>